And it's Ken Kratzer for Sons of American Legion Radio, rallypoint.com. Army, a 70 to 14 winner over Houston in the Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl. Let's go and watch some of the highlights of today's game and the wonderful festivities uh, honoring veterans. Lockheed Martin is a global company. We've got more than 100,000 employees and everything from aerospace and defense to actually an energy business. So pretty broad base of products and services that we offer. But global security and defense is really our expertise. Well, I am a member of American Legion Post 379 out of Bedford, Texas. But I am also the vice commander for the 12th district, which covers Tarrant County and Fort Worth. And that's uh, Secretary Esper. Thank you very much, class of 86. I appreciate you being here. I saw my old commandant friend, JT Thompson, is here somewhere. He came in from Turkey. I think that. <laughs>
a great American life, one that refined and personified two of our nation's greatest virtues, entrepreneurial spirit, and a commitment to public service. At this time, we ask that you observe a moment of silence in honor of his inspiring example. Yeah. 
refresh mine. Kudos to Aiden, give kudos to the center. They did a phenomenal job of just, you know, uh, just working together and seeing things and holding the cadence and making adjustments. Well, the way I didn't expect it to, and uh, uh, the pitch key got on me kind of fast, and uh, things kind of happened faster than I wanted it to as far as the way the play was supposed to go. And, uh, you know, it was just, uh, just trying to make a play for the guys, you know, just trying to get back to the line of scrimmage. And, I was able to, to bust through, and there was some great blocks downfield. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, there was a huge convoy of guys right there when I was running. First, Luis took over his decor, and he's calling plays, and uh, he's he loves the blitz. So, uh, but we kind of knew it was coming. We didn't know how much he was going to do it, but um, you know, he, he tried some things out, and they were working. And uh, you know, we just kept running it. Biggest thing, it went well because we got a bunch of guys who are just, uh, just savages, to be honest. Um, we got a bunch of guys who go after it and get after it every single play. So, um, you know, we got some talented guys, but the biggest thing is we got a whole bunch of tough guys that get after it. So I'd say, um, you know, we wrote our own destiny today with, uh, with our attitude that we came into this game with. To be a part of it, that's uh, it's an amazing group of young men in that, in that locker room. And we certainly aren't the most talented football team in the country, but I think we're one of the best teams that I've ever been a part of. And uh, it, we've got some talented guys in that locker room. But more importantly, we got some good football players in that locker room. And they play really well together. They care deeply about each other. They're tremendously loyal to the brand uh, and to each other. And, uh, and that's what has given us the, the ability to be able to win 11 football games in one year, that's, that's not easy to do. And there's not a lot of teams that play college football this year that will do that. So, And just great moments uh, today for Army. Uh, very impressive win and great job by the folks at the Armed Forces Bowl and Lockheed Martin honoring today's military, honoring veterans throughout the tribute. Uh, in the pregame at the luncheon on Friday and during the game they honored a different branch of the military during each quarter and presented 
uh, decorations uh, to uh, some amazing veterans, and also uh, an induction of some of the newest members of the United States military. So uh, a great game and a great uh, couple of days here in Fort Worth. Uh, great job by the host committee and an impressive win for Army that's really going to be part of their legacy. 11 wins the most they've ever had. Second year in a row that they have won the Commander-in-Chief trophy, which is just huge for them. And then three straight bowl wins. One of the most successful seasons in the long storied history of Army football. We're glad to be a part of it here at Sons of the American Legion Radio. I want to thank our team, uh, Ryan Remley, who is out here with us this, uh, this week, Bob White from the Department of Ohio, and back in our home office, John Turan, who's uh, been terrific on writing uh, game stories for us. So from Fort Worth, for Sons of the American Legion Radio, rallypoint.com, this is Ken Kreitzer.